welcome. Welcome to a slightly different stream this morning. <clears throat> I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, markers, woo! Um, so, yes, good morning. Hello. We had a very exciting um, Star Citizen yesterday, I believe, um, on the... I don't know if it was Happy Hour or Citizen's Table or whatever it was, but it was... I didn't get... I, ca I caught a very tiny section of it, which got me really, really excited. Um, they have... Um, we were talking about the Titan suit or some suit. And I was just like, what the fuck are we talking? Because it was someone asked if they're going to be robots. They said, oh, no, no, we're working on um, some suit. So it looks like they're going to have a bit like kind of like Anthem. They are going to have like some sort of awesome suit. Now, I don't know if that's already everyone knows this, but for me, that was really new. So I was really excited. Morning, Fledger. Morning, Avery. I got a massive shout out, by the way, guys. I don't know if you've noticed, but oh, my days. Look at that. That donation bar is complete. It is actually done. And that is because Avery, two hours ago when I'm fast asleep, yeah, two hours ago I was fast asleep, just dropped 50 bucks into my, or 50 pounds into the donation bar to clean it. Candy, I was gone from zero to complete. That is, I got to just say, man, thank you so much. That is amazing. Amazing, amazing. So, yeah, so we will be able to do a giveaway at some point, uh, either potentially this week or the beginning of next week, um, depending on how I feel and uh, if you know how busy I am. Because this week is going to be crazy busy for me. I have a mental deadline um, for work, so this is why I'm doing a creative stream now, so that I can literally get creative and then I can just end the stream and go straight into being designing and drawing some shoes for work. So, okay, so I'm going to show very much how. I would go about designing a shoe, the process that I do, um, and all the rest of it. Now, it could take five minutes, it could take two days, I don't know, but I'm just going to show, basically, this was a drawing I did yesterday night, it took about 20 minutes to kind of draw up these two shoes. Um, they're kind of like, the idea of these ones are uh, sneakers, they're kind of like sneakery kind of space shoes, um, but we can change the materials and the colours, this is like... Just very rough, quick kind of sketch and stuff. And then what I would do, I'll just show you exactly how I would... The kind of process that I would go towards kind of designing um, a shoe. This would be one of many views. So I usually start with just the side view to start with. And then if I want to kind of get creative, I'll start to do like 3D views of the shoe and things like that. But usually this is kind of like the kind of the starting blocks, I would say, for creating the piece. I use Illustrator CC. I have a paid for license, so no one has to worry. There's none of this cracked stuff. It's all legitimate, obviously, because I have real work. I have a real business. Um, so all my stuff is legit. Yes, on this computer, it's all legit. <laughs> so um, let's get some, without further ado, let's get some music going. I'll do this for a little bit on the Star Citizen thing, and then I'll probably switch it up onto a creative channel. I'm not sure. I don't know what the rules are. I imagine but we, could, we can chat about some stuff. People, please tell me what the highlights were of yesterday's if you watch the... Is it Captain... I can't remember, was it Captain's Table? So, going to be only playing half attention. Got to do my basic life support. Yeah, yeah, no, it's fine, it's fine. It's just, I'm doing this because a lot of people have asked me, oh, you know, like, you know, you complain about the shoes and stuff, so why don't you go do a shoe? So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do a little, very quick illustrated drawing, and then we'll just see where it goes. It could go somewhere, it could go nowhere. Um... It could look absolutely shit by the end of it. Who knows? But um, we'll give it a we'll give it a good go anyway this morning. So, so this is like so this is where you start. So I've got my image. I've imported it into Illustrator. I would then do file new. I'd probably do an A3 because everything I love everything to be A3, and then landscape it. I mean, I have I have a custom setup. Um, on my screen, which I don't think people can see. So if, if I need to, we can switch it to, hang on. If I need to, we can switch it to that. So people can see the whole, they can see everything, not just not just the illustrator, the screen. And I might have to move myself across. We'll see how it goes. And we've got to get a cup of tea and let's get some music going. So let's load, what should we have on today? Let's go with, um, modern hit, yeah, let's put that on. That sounds good. Let me know. We'll see how it goes. I might need to get pumped up for it. We'll see. 
So. So. If you've got any questions, if anyone's got any questions about what we're doing and all the rest of it, we'll kind of go. We're going to draw, try and draw up two basic outlines for starts. Um, and then we'll go from there. So we'll start off with the kind of the low, the low cut, and then we'll work on the... No, I just realized. Sorry, guys. I put the um, I put the same key bindings, the key bindings for the volume of music to plus and minus. Now plus and minus in Illustrator, so Control plus, Control minus. Does that? <laughs> so all you're gonna do is you're gonna get the volume going up and down, up and down as I do this all the time. So for anyone that's interested, I use a Wacom pen. Um, I have a Wacom Pro. Um, it's a bit of an old one. It's a couple of years now, but it does the job. So. It does the job. It does the job. Right. So what I what I'll tend to do is we'll build the frame. Okay, so we've got layers down here. So I'll lock the layer underneath here, or potentially a double click on this layer, and I can dim the image to about fifty percent, which makes it kind of like a very light kind of shell. And then I would start drawing the asset here. So I've got my pen tool up here. So I bring over, this is kind of like how I kind of would lay it out. So this is my pen tool. And then we'll just do a very quick, very quick blocking. Now, the trick with Illustrator, and the thing that a lot of people kind of, for doing vector drawings, is that if you imagine, in, I don't know if any of you guys had as a kid, um, kind of like those fuzzy felt kind of like pieces you had as a child. So see here, we'll, we'll probably end up doing this. We'll probably end up being like a little kick. We can we can work through like kind of the finite de the minutiae details later. And like I said, if anyone's got any kind of queries and stuff, feel free. We will we will do our best to get to them later. So what I was saying about the f fuzzy felts, if you remember the fuzzy felt kind of materials, what it is is from the surface, when you're looking down at this angle, everything looks like it's going to be a beautiful drawing. But if you were to, like a t-shirt, if you start lots of fuzzy felts to create like a a shape if you then looked at it from the kind of side view everything's like all stacked up on top of each other and that's very much how this is we're just building all the pieces and they're all going to stack on top and it's all about how you put the order together is how the picture looks from the top and what what this does what this enables you to do is um let's just do this what this enables us to do is that you can like basically we can color them so I can just select any color so let's have a look at my swatch palette and I can color it now you see the order of that's now on top of this piece here so let's just color this a different color but what I can do is I can just drop that behind it and then boom and then I can color this for example or I could color this the same reds for example and then this one could be a gray you see how that's layered on top, that's layered underneath. And so basically what we're doing, very simply, without really having to do too much, is we're just kind of creating the, the fundamental building blocks of the shoe. Or fundamental building blocks of the plane. And, that, and this is very much how you do, very much how you do it. And because we've locked the layer underneath, I don't have to worry about dragging shit like that on top, so I could just select it all. 
and it what it, it keeps and now the other the other thing that people need to like with illustrator and stuff is you want to have as few points as possible now if i took this drawing that i had and i created like a live trace which is fine it'll create thousands of tiny little effing little vector points you can go into the tools and you can smooth out the lines and try and reduce the vector points but it's never going to give you the same result as if you try to draw it by hand in terms of like reducing con you know that kind of stuff so Just. We're reaping all the benefits, being treated like degenerates until the shoe is on the other foot. I would never just pretend it fits. Nah, that's really not my mission. It's easier to speak than it is to really listen. Easier to sit than it is to take a stand. Before you take action, you gotta make a plan. And it could be small. Help somebody up when they fall. Be on the other end of the line when they need a call. If I give the man change and he buy alcohol. What company do I work for? Um, I work, well, I've worked for many companies. Um, I worked, I've worked for Lacoste, I've worked for um, Dr. Martins, I've worked for Nike, I've worked for Umbro. I now currently work, I work for Burton's. I currently now work for, um, I did some kid shoes for a while and freelancing for myself for a bit. Um, I work for a company called Beach, well, Global Brand Partners, but we, um, I design for Beachbody. So currently we have like a whole new, we've just launched a whole second season of shoes and stuff. And um, uh, yeah, looks pretty cool. So I'm very excited. It's gone down really well in America, supposedly the whole new collection. So uh, considering the first collection was very lukewarm in terms of like, we just couldn't, we just started getting a new factory. So when you get, if anyone knows anything about business and stuff, when you have a, when you have your first factory, you kind of like, you know, it's going to take a bit of time. It's not gonna, you know, it's not gonna happen overnight. Okay, so that is very much. So if I fill this all in, we'll see that we've got fundamental building block of a shoe, you know. And we'll just create like a little shadow base. That we can kind of like use as a grounding, you know? And you can just go order, object, arrange, send to the back, or control shift, and it'll kind of drop it at the back. And then we, you know, we're probably looking at this going, okay, well, maybe my drawing's a little bit off tilt. So we'll have to kind of like, you know, adjust the potentially the tilt of the drawing just to kind of make it look a little bit more flat. And, you know, but we can do that later. It's not something I want to kind of do straight off the bat. It's like, well, it doesn't really matter. I can do that sort of a tilt, that sort of a tilt and a change at any point. And that would be kind of like that's and that's it. And then what I could do is even even this just as a basic shape. So let's just create what I would do, which is a Gaussian blur. So we'd say let's just select this piece and you go effects, blur, Gaussian blur, preview. And we could do that. And we could make it. Um, that, where is it? Transparency. We could kind of reduce it. And this would be kind of like your starting point. To kind of like, you could start to build some shading. And you kind of like create, creates like a kind of a more of a kind of a 3D, a 3D kind of rounding kind of thing on the product and stuff like that. So, you know, this, this is kind of like very much how I would start to build. Usually the Gaussian blur and things like that usually comes a bit later because that's a bit more posh and stuff. But that would be kind of like the, I would say the, the kind of the fundamental building blocks of kind of what we're doing. And then I'd kind of go from that. So we've got one. Let's do the other one very quick. 
and we could even whilst we wait we could kind of even kind of try and color it up a bit and then i'll go into a work into all the details and we'll add the laces or the kind of fastening so we'll put the logo on it and we'll just kind of play with the colors and materials and textures and, and add some like you know kind of start to add the detailing and stuff like that but this would be this would be a very practical you could you know very very quick and easy way of kind of creating a shoe So we'll do this one. So very much the same process. We build the kind of the pieces. Now, I didn't get around to finishing the top of this, so we'll have to try and wing it. So we've got a choice. We can either just go straight across the top for now, or we can try and style it out a bit and kind of give it like a basketball kind of feel. out to you but I think the, the one of the biggest things with all of this stuff is is that you want to get down like like when I did it we did this in the same when um, I did VFX and stuff and I was kind of like I'd always get into the finite minutiae details but I always remember that actually the best thing you can do really is um, Is you want to really kind of do the blocking first so get all the big old blocking get the big pages done get all that kind of good stuff done and then you'll be rocking it so we've got that we've got that we've got that we've got the tongue we've got the main body piece let's put the um, kind of like back strap thing here so because what we're going to do is I'm building a sneaker ultimately first but I have some reference photos of a few things that I want to um, bring in to this piece of artwork um, from space shoes and some other things. So we'll start to add those kind of like a bit more maybe futuristic or space kind of details and stuff as we go along. And we'll see how it goes and see what we kind of create. Because at the moment we've got a nice sneaker. Um, you know, we'll jazz up the colors and make it look a little bit more fancy and kind of fluorescent and clear bubbles or whatever. We, you know, with jet engines, I don't know, whatever we want to do. And we'll go from there and see if we can kind of like bring it into a kind of a spacey kind of feel. So we shall see. Right, we've got that, we've got that, we've got this, we've got this. Now we need to build the the basic kind of outsole frame. I see we've got an issue up here. So for anyone, so basically I've been using Illustrator as a, as a tool. I've been using Illustrator as a tool for probably somewhere in the region... I think I've graduated about 2004 from um, art college and I think I've been using Illustrator for about, yeah, about 13 years now. I learned how to use Illustrator off of a, um, a car designer at Lacoste. So yeah, if you're lucky I might show you some of my other my some of my older designs we'll see the thing you get the thing you've got is you've got a lot of energy with these lovely with these wonderful um Mm. 
eliminate hate, so it breaks from the content, reflects in the concept. Pick it up with the pace of the beat, cause I pause for a second, I wanted to give a message. I never make guarantees, and I promise to be the sickest nigga you never seen as I fuck up the beat, and it's unrecognizable. Tell me that's plausible, not what's impossible. Toppling obstacles, make it deplorable. Fuck with the sound, it's a pain in your wall, and you're walking. I find myself off of the path as I clash with a sense of identity. Say this is still with the pain that I'm feeling, cause sin and revealing. I'm willing to go to the brick, and I'm playing my shit never. So what, you, what you've got is, you've got, um... What was I saying? I've just lost my train of thought. Fuck it. Let's just get on with it. Easy to lose your train of thought. So I, like, I've learned a lot of things. Um, when I was when I worked for Umbro for a while, there was um, I learned off a lot of designers there who were just super talented. There's some such talented young men, like drawing and stuff. Again, similar. It's funny how um, car designing seems to produce quite a lot of footwear designers. It must be something about the shapes. I think someone said to me that drawing a shoe and drawing a car, there's a lot of similarities in terms of the way that people, um, the kind of the way they draw it. If you think about it, you know, drawing a car in, this, in essence is kind of, you know, here's your, here's your, black, here's your flat pane because they draw it from the side. You know, they then put, you know, this, the wheels, I think, I think the car's, I think my boss, this is me trying to remember back in the day, so you'd, I think he said it's three distances between, and then you have your base, and then you would then, your nose kind of starts here type thing, and then you've got your, I don't know, the back end of the car, and I'm just doing a shit blocking here, but, and then, you know, this is your kind of, and you delete that, and then that would be your kind of, I mean, ignore my terrible, terrible car drawing, but. And, and I think there's something, there's something about, you know, you'd have to oversize these things. You'd like to make bigger wheels. As big a, as bigger wheels as possible. <laughs> bigger wheels at the back, so you get that crazy cool fast dance going on. Ooh. Awesome car. So, um, so yeah. So there you go. So that's the. Um, I think. Let's. Um, I think I'm probably just realised I probably do have to be in the creative channel. So let's move this into the creative channel. In a minute, I'll do it in a minute. So yeah, so that for some reason there's something similar about the way that car designers kind of do their shit. And the way that... But I think I was mentioning earlier about energy. I think a hand drawing has a lot of life. There's something about the touch on a page you know there's something there's something about the way that when somebody somebody touches something down on paper that just creates like a just a, a, a just a warmth and a kind of a, a, a life to, to stuff that you just cannot replicate you know I don't know the thing with short keys is I know quite a few but I don't really try I can't remember them all And so, for, for when I draw these things here, like for this shoe, for example, I would have used, I use like real life references of other shoes. I use obviously a bit of kind of my own, bit of Shazam from some of the ideas that I have myself. And it's kind of like, like all things, it's not, you know, it's, it's kind of a combination of a few things. And like I say, when we start to bring in some of the reference shoes 
for some of the more details that we can maybe potentially add to the shoe the colorings and all this kind of great stuff maybe bring in the star the the, the logo we'll drop it in so i tell you what why don't we do that now let's go and get a um let's go and get it now so so again i'm just going to show you literally exactly how i would exactly how i would um go about kind of like building a shoe and kind of creating a shoe and giving you some sneaky bits so our citizen logo please i spell sotar citizen wrong every time it's crazy view image so we'll save that to desktop We'll open. So we do a live trace on this. And so in theory, we'll just We'll color it in like that so I can see where the bits that are errors. So select same fill color to all the white sections and all the white sections are now gone and I'm left with just the frame that I can color to my will. And now we have got a very quick, very quick logo. Boom. we can do with it as we want Just, I don't know we could put it anywhere we want we can put it on the tongue all this good stuff we could put it on the top here bang and we've kind of got the beginnings of the kind of the logo and you can kind of play with it as we want okay Like I said, we're just creating very much. Just a happy little tree. Just a happy tree. <laughs> just a happy shoe. It's a happy shoe. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. So you see the order's wrong. So we drop it all back. Boom. And there we go. And that and that is a quickly really, really quickly way of just creating without having to really do a huge amount. A really easy piece of artwork for other people to color because like i said anyone could come in and just go yeah okay i want to change let's do that in brown let's do that in blue let's do that in you know and we'll do the straps we'll do the strap in red we'll make the outsole in yellow and 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 this this is this is a this is very much the tech you know a very quick a very easy way of doing creative technical drawings that are very very simple for everyone and everything to understand now to try and take this and make it a bit more jazzy and a bit more kind of flash and all the rest of it you know we can go other places with it what we'll do is we'll keep one of these spare on the side here Not the best logo for a shoe, if I'm being completely frank. I mean, for a tongue at the top here, 
Came on with my fears, moved with the wind, changed my mood by the weather. Drifting through miles, which headed wherever. While drifting through smiles, fake as trees in December. But the path I trace back, not the path I remember. So we'll just kind of half this. By the way, if you ever lose artwork, if you ever lose any lines and stuff, it's Control Y, and it just shows you all the line artwork on the page. And you can see how clean your artwork is and if there's any issues. So also helps if you're having rendering issues. So now the first thing I would do here, because we've actually been going on for quite a while, is... And I should have done this earlier. So I sit the sneakers. One. Crash! No! Save. And save multiple versions. So save 0, 01 and then the next time maybe save 0, 02, 03. And that way you always have a good base to come back to. It's just good work practice. Because um, you never know, you might want to grab a f piece of artwork that has the raw version of something from another piece of artwork somewhere. The great thing about this tool is that they have this new thing here, which is mean like rendering. So you can actually. I can actually grab the corners and it will naturally curve them, which is really cool. But you can kind of see this is very rough, very kind of raw. And we've got Pathfinder. And boom, we have, you know, for kind of a very quick. And we can kind of work on. We could, in theory, it's going to have like a tongue label. We could kind of st we could style the tongue label if we wanted to. I don't know. But for now, yeah, the tongue label will have. The tongue label would have the logo on the top there, like so. And we can work on the other. F you know, that would be where the logo potentially would be. We might put the logo on the heel. And so this is kind of like, this is very, very simple, very, very quick. So, you know, we have the drawing here. This is where we started from, literally half 20 minutes ago and then now this is where we've got to in terms of this is where we've got to in terms of the star citizen shoes so so quick super easy to kind of just build the basic foundations now the tricky part comes into kind of like i say um adding more details so we'll want to add like because this is obviously meant to be kind of a spacey shoe, so we want to start looking into details for tread patterns here, maybe some of the materials, the textures, maybe a big, we want to put like a big strap and stuff on here. So now this is where research and obviously getting some kind of like cool things like here, this potentially is going to be like a cool light fluorescent, like kind of lighting up um, section that all kind of lights up at the bottom here and any uppers. And I don't know what kind of colors Star Citizen uses, so, you know, I'd naturally this is where you'd now I would then stop here and then go and collect a load of images and then start to bring those images in now I believe I have a couple so this is from the Martian which is pretty cool so I would drop this in and see if there's any sort of kind of like cool kind of spacey kind of features here that maybe I could bring in like a little maybe this little bag here we could kind of like bring a little space bag into the side here this kind of piping here might look really cool on the top here some of these straps like these kind of strap bindings i think maybe we could probably add a couple strap bindings over the top here see this here with the kind of the way this is kind of hard plastic maybe i need to bring this up and change this design slightly so we can bring that up here and add this and then we've got kind of got these kind of larger cleats so we could potentially bring some cleated bits in here um but generally on the whole maybe we need to bring like a toe bumper to protection because obviously you're going to be in dirt and sand potentially we could kind of bring a toe bumper up here and like i say we've got these kind of kind of strappy bits going across the top here so that would be kind of my next thing and then see how these guys have done like a kind of a back view front view and all the rest of it that would be very much this kind of layout would be very much the kind of process for this so we do front view would be 
and we do a back view as well as we go along. But like I say, we start with the side view first, kind of trying to build the the aesthetics and stuff. So let's um let's see what else we've got. So this is actually what a legitimate space shoe looks like. <laughs> It ain't pretty, and there's not much really I could use there other than the fact that it's got this toe bumper and stuff. So this far more interesting to me. This was like far more better. You know, this this was this was literally the, the costume design for the Martian that um, Matt Damon used. So and kind of all these kind of like these kind of things here, these little kind of vents and things like that would be really cool. We could potentially bring something like that into here. We could maybe drop this line down here, and then we could bring these venti sections in the back here could look really cool um, and like I say we've got all this here which I think would look really cool across here going up as well so we'll kind of work into it now and we're gonna add some extra things and then this is very much like I said this is how I would do it this is the kind of starting point of kind of creating something so let's do it so I think so that goes up the leg a little bit so I think what we could do uh, it's a lot of the layer underneath object path offset path let's say two to start with right okay so twos two path minus one that gets us that we've then got to cut it in half so let's yeah so we want to make sure now if you're worried that it's i mean i do this by eye because at the end of the day i always think sometimes by eye just the natural eye is incorrect but sometimes there's some beauty in kind of imperfection perfection is kind of um you try and get it as close as possible but it doesn't need to be absolutely perfect it's kind of weird like that. Something about too perfect is kind of annoying. Um, so this is probably, I reckon it was two before, so let's say ten. Yeah, it's probably okay. And then we can object path about one. Yeah, okay, cool. And then what we can do here is, yeah, we'll take these and then we'll do these ones, object path offset. Um, I think we'd do about one. No, a bit bigger than that. Let's do two. Yeah, that's about right. And I think we need to probably make this a bit bigger as well. Yeah. And so what I can do is I can then... If you've ever used Illustrator before, this, this tool here, the Pathfinder tool, is your best friend. Um, have you seen these sneaky shoes? Let's have a look. Oh, nice! <laughs> Sorry, Deep Star. Yeah, they're cool, aren't they? Look at those bad boys. Woo! Jazzy! Look at those. Nice. They're cool, man. I like that. That's the. That's like. That's what I'm talking about right there. You know. Way more comfortable. Look at that. Fantastic. That's exactly what I'm talking about in terms of. I don't see why they can't. Well, this is exactly what we're drawing. So. Thank you for that, dude. NASA spacesuits, the blue ones, they already have sneaker shoes. Yes. So why can't we have it in game? We need them in game. <laughs> so we're just encouraging Star Citizen right now. And so this is kind of created. I think we'll make this a bit wider as well. And we'll delete that. And so what we've got here is now I can select these two and then using Pathfinder tool that gives me this. That's cool, but I want to kind of keep the original circle. So what we'll do is we'll take that and that. We'll do the tool. And that, then at least that one is then hidden behind the other one. And then what we can do here. Now it appears to be that these kind of have like a kind of a radial lip and stuff. So... What we want to do is then copy this, paste this on top of these, and then kind of cut. And then what that does is we then just select these sections, boom, delete, delete, delete. We can then have these separate pieces if we want to, which is fine. 
or we can just delete them. And then that gives us the piece that we can then drop in behind, like so. And it's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. And then we can, like, you know, if we really want to kind of get into, like, the, the manouche details and stuff. So this one looks like it's kind of got some kind of cool shading going on here. So we could potentially, you know, just go in and go, yeah, we'll check a little kind of shadow line. And then we'll just blur it up. You gotta be careful with Gaussian blurs. Don't go too crazy with them because they are they tend to kind of like eat up memory. So you wanna be careful, but you know we can kind of drop them in. Chuck them in behind. You can kind of have a look to see what he was doing, so they kind of like yeah, and then they had Oh, Cairo Raid, what's up, man? How's it going, dude? I don't have, um, I just realized I've got my fucking, I haven't got my alerts on because I did the podcast the other day. Ha! Ah, how funny. <laughs> Thank you for the host. I'll need to go quickly go fix that. Welcome to, um, welcome to my creative stream. So, I'm currently, uh, designing some sneaks. So, I'm currently doing a Star Citizen, uh, space sneaker. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, no reaction. Completely reactionless because there's no sound. <laughs> Hang on, let me go fix that right now because that's going to really annoy me. Because people are like, I completely forgot to switch it. When we do, um, when we do the podcast, we have to switch all the alerts off because obviously no one else can hear it. So they'll be talking, and then all of a sudden it will be, well, hello, beautiful, will go off, and then uh, it will drive everyone. They will be like, what the hell's going on? So hang on, let's just test it. Well, hello, beautiful. <laughs> so let's get that back up a bit to about forty percent. Save. And then the hosts, see like, testing house see there's no sound, what an idiot, I do apologise, thank you so much Kairos. How did the giveaway go, who won, who won the, um, I, clearly I didn't win the knocks because I'm drawing. <laughs> Magnetic boots confirmed, legit, yeah, yeah, these aren't mine by the way, this is someone else's, I'm just using this for reference. So this is my drawings here, so I did this last night, it took about 20 minutes. And then this morning, we've just been doing this from, for about half an hour, just kind of doing the basic kind of fundamental blocks of kind of like where I would start. Inter actually, yeah, oh no, these are interstellar spacesuits, sorry. Not the Martian, I do apologise. Interstellar. I thought they, I was looking at some Martian ones earlier. Um, so let's just save the settings and let's just do a test. I feel like I should say something smart. Thank you, Kairos. Thank you, dude. I really appreciate that. The donation's gone is completely gone as well. Just going to say shout out. By the way, if anyone does notice, we have hit our donation goal. Avery Longshot was super kind and has donated literally the entire bar, which is amazing. Um, and um, enabled me. So I'm going to be doing two giveaway cards in the next week, I would say. So watch this space. Opaz won. He is happy. Good. That's really good. That's really, really good, man. I can't wait to fly my um, Noxes. It's going to be so cool. So, yeah. So, so if, I don't know if anybody uses uh, Illustrator at all. I don't know if any of you guys use Illustrator at all, but... So this is, like I was saying to the guys, this is very much how I kind of like, this is the exact process I use when I'm doing my shoes in real life for the company I work for, for Beachbody. And this is exactly how I do it. I start off with a sketch, I then build on top of the sketch, and then maybe have some extra details from existing shoes or from marker samples or whatever. And then I kind of go build the break, the, the basic kind of framework, and then I go into the details. Now, I don't tend to use Photoshop. So, because Photoshop is, is pixel-based, whereas this is vector-based drawing. So... What that means is it's if I scale this I can go huge and it still maintains the quality huge and huge and huge I can go big 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 massive absolutely massive and it never loses 
um, I mean, obviously the lines get bigger, so you might start to see the lines a bit more. But generally, it never lose. It won't lose really any um, of that definition, that quality. Whereas obviously, if I did that with a pixel-based drawing from Photoshop, the pixels start to stretch and the drawing starts to get damaged and not very good. So, yeah, it's not so good. But and this is like I said, this is very much kind of blocking in the kind of the basics, and then I would kind of start to kind of block out potentially where I want gradients and kind of like this will be a kind of a shadow area and because this is because this is technically this in theory would be for industry you know so this would be for industry you want to be able to color it you know you want to be able to take the pieces and color them up really quickly so they're all connected. A lot of people, I've noticed, a lot of people, when they draw with Illustrator, they'll do the following, okay? So this is a tip for anyone that is interested in drawing. Um, they'll draw a piece here. Okay. They'll draw a piece here, and then they'll do the following. They'll draw, then and they'll try and then draw another piece right on the line. Like that. And then they'll go across, and they'll have the piece here, and then they'll... And then they'll do that and then they'll draw another line and then they'll have the piece joined up here and then they'll try and kind of connect it along like so it's a fucking nightmare because what that does is one you end up with gaps like this and it looks terrible but two the other thing is if you suddenly wanted to change this line oh I want to move this line down a little bit oh crap I've suddenly got to then move this line and then I got to move this there's no need for it because at the end of the day all you need to do is just put the piece behind because that's what the focus is and you just drop it behind the other piece you know there's no need for it and you can save yourself a hell of a lot of time doing the detail you just have to it's like a puzzle you have to figure out the puzzle pieces that are the priority you know fidelity yeah yeah i do i'm a designer ux illustrator artist oh cool nice one deep star so you know probably everything I'm showing. It's nothing, like I said, I use, at the end of the day, I use Illustrator in a very special way, very particular way. I use a certain set of tool brushes. I've picked up over years, um, little tips and obviously little shorthands. There's always new cool things that people can say to me and say, oh, well, have you thought about doing this? Or have you done this? Or have you done that? You know, I am by no means an expert, but I am um, decent. You know, I mean, after 12 years of using the, the software, you're going to get decent but like i said the best tool that i found is pathfinder is one of my favorite toolbars tools to use um and the pen tool obviously uh, and then having kind of a general layout kind of how you like it um and that's it really so where was that yeah let's get back to what we were doing so we we're going to try and work on some of the so we we're going to try and add some of these pipe details as well weren't we so let's just let's just add some of those in just to kind of had a bit of uh, DL. Not how many is it? Two. Cool. And we'll add. We'll add some. We'll add some cool ones at the back. So there's a few ways of doing this. You're, there's lots of different. There's the one thing that I always love about Adobe stuff. There's many, many ways of doing things. You can like always, there's so many different ways of like drawing and stuff. You can kind of, Kairos is obsessed with mag boots. Yeah, well we can like, I can like, I could design like, this is the thing. I could kind of like look at what would be like a magnetic button, you know? And then naturally then I would kind of like just drop it in here, draw the piece, stick it in here. And then, you know, figure out how we could potentially do the kind of the magnetic button and stuff, you know? Let's drop it a little bit in here, so. And then we'll drop that to the back. And that would be kind of the thing with that. And then we've got here, so we want to kind of. And so, very much, I'm kind of like I say, you don't want to kind of like block yourself in too much. You just want to kind of like go, oh, well, what does this look like? What does that shape look like? You know. If that was kind of blocked out, what would that look like as a kind of a detail at the front? Okay, that's quite cool. 
Um, and then I'm looking at this going, well, I think that's probably a bit too round. We might want to just kind of like chop that back a bit. There we go, that's a bit better, isn't it? Kind of a bit more of aggressive stance. And like this looks a bit soft. No, maybe it's actually okay. And see that that's now on top of this. That shouldn't really be on top of that. That's in the wrong place. So that should really be underneath because this is technically a kind of a, a kind of like what you call a TPU kind of hard support. And then these pieces look like they're kind of yeah okay. They look like they're actually got a bit of a radius to them. So. So what you want to do here, we just be like, okay, we'll just build, we'll build one. Actually, let's. So if anyone wants me to kind of slow down or explain anything, if anyone's curious about anything, please just say in chat and I will get to it and I'll try and explain anything. It's absolutely fine. If anyone's curious, got any queries. This isn't like um, the Blue Peter show, so I will definitely not be producing. And here's one I made earlier. <laughs> Um, CIG like mag boots as well are just very tech technically challenged so we'll have to wait unfortunately yep I know it kind of sucks right it proper sucks so let's where is it oh we've lost a stroke So one of the things you want to always do when you um, are using path tool, you want to make sure that um, when you're cutting things, you want to make sure that they're not full. Because if, if I'll give you, an, I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so here's what I think is a straight line. Okay, looks like a looks like a straight line, right? Okay, this is where it won't prove to me what I'm, what I'm trying to do, but we'll see. So. Again, these are just little things that I've picked up over the years. So if I select this and this and they're all full and cut, notice it's kind of gone a bit strange. It's kind of fattened the line a little bit. Now, if you want that, obviously that's a really cool technique and you want to kind of create this kind of slightly fat line, that's great. But what it's done is it's joined the points of where the fill have kind of extending out because of the magnetic, because he's kind of like these magnet lines. See these little, they create, these are like magnet, they kind of like draw the curve. They kind of make you draw the curve, you know? So these little bits, make the <laughs> ah, shoot! excuse me. Um, so these lines kind of make, make the line do bend and do all kind of funny things. If you can grab them. I don't know the technical term. I just call them little magnetic things. They kind of like draw and make make the things do really fun things. But when you fill them, obviously, then it all it creates the line, and then that then does that. So easily, don't do that. You want to make sure that if you make sure that this hasn't got a fill, even if this is a fill, but whatever the top piece that's like slicing through isn't fill, it should. It should. Cut it properly, there you go. Bang. Ooh. Oh, we didn't do it. Yeah, there you go, you cut it properly. So there's no separate piece, it's just split it nicely. Slashed. Like Fruit Ninja style. So you just have to be careful. That's why I often that's why I usually just grab both pieces and make them and then cut them. And that way I know that I won't be getting any. Also what what you gotta remember is what's really cool is, is it groups them. So you have to ungroup them, so that's control, shift, and G to group, and I think it's control G. So if you control G, it groups them, control shift G, ungroups them. 
Till we motherfucking find love Money doesn't talk Man, the motherfucking grind does Rest for my brain Every day I'm trying to find drugs That help me take the pain away But only fucking time does Stay chill and praise Derek <laughs> Alright man, let's take care I'm off for tonight I look forward to seeing where it goes. Oh, no worries, man. I'll um, I'll post some pictures of um, where we kind of end up today, and then I might do some fancy drawing side views and stuff over the next couple of days. We'll see how it goes. It all depends. This is kind of just to get me kind of going into my work day, really, because I've got shit loads of work to do. So I've got loads of loads of shoe design. So I figured I'd just kind of draw, draw it up today. So anyway, so where was I? So when you do cut things, though, it's a permanent cut. Okay. So as soon as I've done this now. That is now, because they're Greek, but this is now a separate piece. And I've lost the original artwork behind. Now, often what I'll tend to do is I will copy, paste on top, and then grab the two pieces, and then cut, and then copy. And then I make sure that I've got the piece underneath, and then paste on top. And that then gives me my, um, yeah. always gives the original one underneath, just in case if I ever wanted to go back. Because that's the thing is you just don't know. I mean, I, I I could be doing this and going, yeah, it looks a bit shit, really. I'm not really, not really feeling that, you know. It looked kind of cool before, but now it's just a bit shit, really. I'm not really, you know. And then I'm looking at this going, well, that, that doesn't really look right. The other thing is you want to try and utilize as many assets as you've already drawn up. It saves you drawing a shitload of a ton of stuff. So if I can do it, it's going to save me a load of time later trying to draw them up, you know? Um, Benze Benzia Curves. Thank you so much, Majestic. I really do appreciate that. Thank you, yes. That's exactly what they are called. Now you say that, I remember what they're called. Um, I recently switched to PC with Illustrator. Do you have any tips on getting Illustrator to run better on Windows 10? I have a powerful PC, but if I run Illustrator on Spotify, Illustrator stutters. You are experiencing probably the same problem that I have been having. Illustrator, for some reason, on 10, I think it's not Illustrator, it depends, Deepstar. Are you using the new CC? I think I have crashed, had more crashes with this Illustrator CC than I did with 6. 6 was really stable. CC seems to be a lot less stable. Now, I think it's to do with... Um, it's got this um, like new feature for saving stuff. Yeah, exactly. I think it's got this new feature for backing up all the time. So if it crashes, it will it will remember what you've been working on and, and you can go back to it. And it's actually really good at remembering... But the problem is, is it's causing it to crash more, which is kind of a double-edged sword, right? It's like, it remembers better, so you have the recovery better, like you never had before, but then it eats huge memory, which then causes the computer to struggle when you open any other programs. I, like for example, if I start opening Adobe Photoshop now and I start having all these other things, this will crash. I am, I will be really surprised if this doesn't crash, either on a save or something, it will crash at some point. Um, <sighs> I've, I reduced oh, tips on how to do it, how to fix it. I would say G Google trying to switch off the recovery might help you. So that I think there's a way you can switch off the recovery. Um, but just then be warned then obviously you have to be vigilant with saving and then see if that makes a big improvement. Um, I think a lot, there's been a lot of people complaining that it's a lot more crash crashy CC. Also, make sure that, um, I'm sure you've done this, but in your um, task manager, make sure on your startup, I know this is really obvious stuff, but some people don't always remember, just disable all your other Adobe stuff. That might help. So make sure you've got nothing running that it doesn't need to be running to take help the computer's memory. Take as much stuff off your desktop as possible. You want to kind of like reduce, because it's obviously everything's using virtual RAM, right? And all that stuff. So you want to kind of reduce that as much as possible. The latest patch makes it slightly better. It still stutters. Yeah. Um, I've never had the stuttering. I just had crushing. So I wouldn't be able to help you directly on that one.
but um i would suggest like everything i would say you know you want to kind of you definitely want to kind of go away and google and shit like that so now i've seen these i'm kind of going to go well i'm actually kind of getting irritated because like i said earlier if i want to start tweaking the lines and stuff this is going to just bug me so what i might just do is just create a piece that sits underneath and tweak it a little bit because these are going to bug the shit out of me so I can group them So we're looking at that and I'm going, hmm, maybe, or we could kind of bring that down here, bring that over the top, maybe we have to create a piece that comes down here. Let's just take the lines off. A little handy tip for anybody that doesn't know this. See this button over here? This, this kind of switching between um, stroke and not. Press Z, I believe it is. Let's just check that that's the case. Oh no, it's not Z anymore. What? It used to be Z. No, it's Control Z, sorry. Control Z will. No, Control Z goes backwards. What? It used to be. You could flick between the two of them. I'm going to have to find what the new key binding is for that. It used to be you just press Z and then it would just flicker between them. Or is it X? Hang on. Oh, it's X. Sorry. Not Z, X. So X flutters between the two of them. Between stroke and... Yeah, X. Thank you, Deepstar. Yeah. But you know what? So many people don't know that, Deepstar. Like, literally, I spent probably about seven, year, seven years without knowing that keybind. And then I stumbled across it. And I was like, oh my god, revolution! What? So let's just see. Maybe that would look quite cool there. I don't know. Let's go back to where it was. And we'll leave it there for now. And then let's transform. In a long time. I hear you doing just fine. Graduated, got a job, and you've been working a grind. You're never looking behind. I know you never find me crossing your mind, but I'd be lying if you didn't cross mine from time to time. I see some of your down to here. Kindness regards was hard. I left my heart on the line. I wrote a song for you. Took a couple months of my time. How can you praise him for flowers and a bottle of wine? You'll never be mine. Remember the time I came to see you. See, then that was gonna. You see, that was never we, so we can never be a sequel. Thought it might have been a date that dated anything to see you. But I'm nothing more than nothing. You're bluffing, saying you care. Our only real connection is memories that we share I would never try to blame me because blaming you is a fan so I'm gonna prefer this to these ones so I'll delete these because this is gonna be a lot more easy to color up and to do work on with the curse of honesty and the truth is I loved you more than words I didn't know how to prove it can tell you that in person but always so kind of create that and then we've got these kind of these kind of strap things going on as well so Let's just draw these straight off of here because I think these are quite cool. So let's just get the idea of what this is doing. And then we'll kind of like, it's pretty cool. Obviously, when I scale it up. Whether we put it over the top is a question mark, I think. We might drop it behind. Yeah, I think we drop it behind. That's quite cool. And then we've got like we could potentially do some vents. We do like some venting or something like that on the side here, which would look quite cool. So potentially this would then become like a venty area, like maybe down here kind of like pretend there's into vents 
and then you notice here we've got like kind of like a kind of a strappy kind of thing here which kind of like that's quite interesting like kind of this this detailing is pretty cool I like this kind of like this kind of bit here but we've got to think right well where do we want the logo and then we've still got this little piece here to go on as well so So it's all these it's all these really interesting little bits to go on oh uh, yeah like 22 years using ai and i didn't know no way seriously isn't that funny this is so funny how like there's certain like details and stuff that 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 people that people know and then they just go oh how the hell did i not see i quite like this kind of toe bumper here this kind of this kind of like this shape let's see what it would look like if we dropped it in Let's just join those lines and chuck it on, shall we? Let's see what it looks like. So the the angle's wrong, obviously, for the shoe. So we'd have to adjust the angle slightly because at the end of the day, this is my styling, not his styling. So this is how I draw. So I think we could potentially add the kind of the toe bumpery bit. To the front like so and yeah you can see you know you were starting to kind of like already build build into it you know what i mean the design it's kind of building in we're kind of like adding to the details you know potentially that detail i might say yeah do you know what that's a cool detail we're going to stick this on on the explorer rather than making it look too sneakery maybe we'll stick a toe bumper on there as well and see what that starts to look like you know yeah, they add things to it, and I don't really tell you about everything, so it's easy to miss. Yeah, we had, um, we've had, I've had like over the years, I've had like Illustrator, Adobe people come, and then they show you what the new features are, like, um, like this is a really cool one, which they added in, which I didn't know about before. Um, where is it? This one, the width tool, so you can add a point here. Which is really cool. And then you obviously you can then edit it. You know, you can do really cool weird things with path lines. Which is really nice. I was like, that was a really, really nice tool. It just does, so enables you to do a lot with paths that you couldn't do before, which I really like. And then um, some of my favorite ones, I know a lot of people know this one, but you know, you can kind of create, take a line here. So I'm just doing a bit of a class here, really, as well as doing Illustrator. So you can take a line. Oh, yeah, I know that one. Yeah, it's very cool. I didn't know about it literally until a guy came because we just because we do in the industry of doing specifically what I do all the time. It's very hard to sometimes take note and go, oh, what's that new tool do? What's that new tool do? We're just in the business of just kind of like speeding up. So what I love about this is you can. You can kind of do really cool things. This is a really cool tool. It's an old tool. It's not a new tool. You know. You can fatten the lines up. And this way you can kind of create really cool detail patterns. Or you can do steps. And kind of play with them. You just always have to be careful that you don't break the the way it can do the lines and stuff, you know. And then you can the great thing you can then add these cool little lines to over the top of details, you know. And you can start to kind of play with them. This is just like really really quick ways of doing stuff. Strokes, yeah. All your strokes and all the kind of this is all the blending tools. What I've always liked as well is the ability to I could take a, um, if you have problems with like blurring and stuff you can take a piece a square piece here i'm just showing just stuff i've learned over the years uh, five you can fill that in and then this one could be i don't know red and then you can then blend between the two and it can create blending and stuff and what that's done is it's a really quite a clean 
Woo. It's really cool. It gives you a lovely, lovely gradient. That's not too not too busy, you know. It gives you it's a different way of doing, you know, naturally where you would naturally do you know, if I took from a gradient tool. It's just another way of doing the gradient thing, which is really cool. I mean, it's nothing new. A lot of people know that one. So what we're going to do here is we've got some circle sections. I'm not feeling that. I'm not feeling that line at all. Let's do this again. So we're gonna want to start to kind of like maybe make it appear that this is like kind of harder plastic and stuff you know Did you really think I'm bad it? Say she wanna leave, but it's way too crowded. But I'll vibe with you. I'm playing games, I ain't trying to lose. And if I take you back, I'ma kiss your neck. This is probably too dark. I could be the one to relieve your stress. When we talk about sex, she unzip that dress. Bless. Maybe one day I could take it. Give it to me, cause I'm tired of waiting. I'm like the Nothing in the world is really truly black anyway. There's nothing everything is always slightly, slightly lighter than there's not really you know, it's not really black black anywhere really other than in printing. And then we kind of we've got this going on. This looks pretty cool. And then we've got the kind of the idea of some vents. I think the vents are probably too big. And what I would no, what I'd normally would do with the vents and stuff actually is I'd make them big to start with. And then now again I would just go right. Okay, well that's roughly the angle that everything's going at so we'll just take that line take that line make sure everything's unfilled and then cut them cut the edges these now these now pieces should be grouped as uh should be now grouped yeah so now they're grouped notice as well when it's done that see it's giving me another piece you won't see that if i was to take if i didn't color them you wouldn't actually see that that bit would remain hidden and sometimes that's the annoying thing is you don't see that in the drawing but it's there so you want to kind of like that's why you always want to it can kind of start to make drawings messy especially when you grab them and people go oh And you can kind of start to create very simple venting. Go away, stupid phone texting. But what you got to remember now is when you've done that, everything is now grouped. So you'll then have to go ungroup, select the pieces, group. You want to try and create as many groups and things that you can do together. It just makes life so much easier when it comes to grabbing pieces. You want to try and keep as many bits and pieces to group together as you possibly can. Obviously, unless you want to kind of... You always have to be careful as well when you do group things. You notice there that suddenly popped that out. 
18, I lived a crazy life. But I couldn't tell you what the 80s were like. I'm not really liking the fact that we've got a, a hard line and then we've got a soft line. Oh man, I solved the issue. I was thinking I'm running Twitch in Chrome and it's not affecting Illustrator, so it must be Spotify conflicting somehow. If I go to Spotify and turn off hardware acceleration, fix stuff are gone. Way! Good job, dude. Well done. That's superb. Well done, great result, man. That's huge. If I ever have that problem, I'll know now. I know I don't use Spotify, so I don't really have the. Um, I I use um. Where is it? I use my D bot because I basically have all my playlists here, so I have all my kind of playlists created. So D bot basically enables me to do YouTube, so I could do all my playlists and then just play through YouTube. It works really, really well. And I would listen to that. I would do that anyway, even if I wasn't streaming. I would just listen to through Daybot, or obviously I'd stick YouTube on and grab some playlists. Right. So we've got that. We've got that. I think we we'll want to do. We'll probably want to add like another kind of like padded section here. Potentially make and with this section here that's kind of like puffy and stuff just kind of like I can kind of make that if I wanted to I just grab those two pieces pathfind them together and then it's it's giving me the shape without me having to I don't have to like redraw you know I can just add that detail in very quickly just grab the piece best to do is to grab it stick it on top of the piece originally grab the two pieces and then just bang drawn together and like here I'm gonna go around okay we're gonna drag this back drag this back Pull this forward, it's not quite right. The road is straight and crooked, depending on how you're looking at it. Life is long or short, depends on if you live and active. And if you've been abandoned, but still put the band around you when your friends and family now you ain't fucking around. Just make sure we save it. Make sure we got it saved. And so we got that one still to do. And so we still got this detail, so let's go back to finishing this little extra detail that we're going to add in a second. So let's delete this, delete this. And we'll offset this, so path, offset, I don't know, say five. That's too much. So path, offset, minus two. Is that going to be too much? Yeah, it's too much again, so path, offset, minus three. There we go. We've got that, we've got that, and then let's just add the arrow. Um, stroke, where are you? Stroke. Arrowheads. That's a bit too big, isn't it? Let's, um, that's the wrong way as well. That no, was more of a square. And let's make the arrowhead smaller. There we go. And then we'll just expand it. Not quite sure why it's done that, but never mind. Let's just check to see if. Yeah, object, expand. Fill. And then we can just grab these two pieces and merge them together. Bang. And then we've kind of created like. Let's go to the stroke areas. 
0.2 and then we can kind of just shadow it fill it with a kind of a lightish gray or something like that and we got a little little arrow uh, and so we've got that and then yeah so and then we've got that and so what we can do now is we can then just grab a circle and then it's Do that, and then we'll do effects. Oh, yeah, we'll do Gaussian blur again. We we'll drop that in like so. Let's just check to see how we're at now. Okay, so probably it won't be so light on the top. So what we'll do is we'll cut the Gaussian in half. And then we might even we could even potentially chop that into quarters, really. So it's ungroup. So we'd probably go take that piece, that piece, cut it in half, and then I could potentially make this um, kind of like that kind of shade, and then that one. Just to thinking about light, light source. See, like I did what I, I did the naughty, I did the naughty. Then see, look, I created the, I didn't do the unfill, and it created the line. You can just delete it like that, but you know it's. It can be an issue. And so that, in theory, should really be about that. And so you got, because you naturally want to kind of think about, well, where, where's the light coming from on the shoe? Where's the light going to be coming from? Well, we'll probably have the light coming this way. So you're kind of thinking, well, where's where the shadow line is going to be? What's the deeper the deeper shadow is going to be? Oh. And I don't I don't really like to do too many Gaussian blurs, just like I said, because it it starts to mess up the the kind of the file and stuff. And then there we go. So and then I'd group that for now, so that I've got everything grouped. So I can just grab it and kind of like, and then I can play with it as I see fit. And we can kind of work in the the details of this later. Maybe it's too big. Maybe we would reduce that down in size. You know, we'll see. We'll see. It could be too small. And maybe we'll make this so this whole area here is going to be large so we're going to make this we'll make this section here uh, let's just imagine we were making a pocket or something so this section here so uh, where are we so we would go uh, take that we'd stick that on top and then maybe we'll make this like a lightish kind of color. Yeah. And we might want to then. Hmm, okay, that's interesting. I like the way they've kind of gone that. Yeah, that's going to be that's going to be quite a fun thing to do actually. It's going to require me to think about it because I'm going to have to go. In theory, it's going to be up to here like so, and then I'm just going to just pen pencil this in very quickly, like because obviously I need to figure out because this is you're starting to go into kind of a 3D kind of 3D form. It's gonna kind of go up like so. And it's gonna go that way, isn't it? And it's gonna create like a, a kind of a padded thing going on. You know what I mean? It's gonna have that kind of. So you're gonna want it to. I'll shade that in, you know, and kind of give it the kind of the the kind of look and stuff. 
You know, you can kind of, and I could kind of think to myself, okay, that's probably a bit too steep already, or so we might want to, you know, naturally I'm going to maybe bring this to like that, you know. Like I said, a lot of this is just just to flesh it. We can work out the the kind of the shading and, and I can work out all that kind of good stuff as we go along later. Because at the moment, it's just to give you so I can kind of go, okay, yeah, well, that's potentially where that kind of that, that cool kind of powdered kind of thing would be. And then I can kind of work into it. Don't forget the magnets. Everyone, what's up, man? What's up, bad? So, yeah, so we've got the, um, so we've got that. We've got this big old kind of like um, a heavy duty kind of piece going across here. Now, the question is, is what really is that doing? It's, I mean, it's enabling this, but it's kind of blocking this. Maybe it should go underneath. And kind of stick out the back a bit and maybe this should be like a um a bit like how we've done the other thing this should be like a kind of a kind of a piece that's now yeah, let's do it maybe this should be later I'm not it's not quite what I'm wanting it to do we'll come back to it later I'll have to have a look at it I'll have to have a look at it later so let's let's add let's add a little detail in here so So a little bit of little bit of stitch in there, just chuck that in there just to kind of like kind of show that those pieces are kind of stitched in. Nike Space Max. Yeah, kind of I suppose. Who knows? We could add like a cool little thing like the guy had on his other one you know like some sort of kind of cool thing that was kind of sticking out the the shoe just the opposite way around you know could be quite cool let me just do a little shading on it just stab your leg <laughs> stab you in the leg 
who knows at the end of the day it's space so you can kind of get away with you can kind of get away with it i'll need to kind of work into this area here and kind of add some kind of crease lines and stuff and then in here i'm thinking we're going to probably have to kind of like add either potentially some padding or we could kind of add like a little break You know, and then we'd want to kind of maybe tweak this and add something in here, and then in here, I mean, do we want to kind of? So this is kind of, you know, so this. Is it's getting there, you know, it's getting there. It's 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 definitely, you know, it's work in progress. And we can kinda of add some more So we want to kind of create, we'll need to create like a really cool kind of, kind of cool pattern here. Oh, don't crash on me now. We want to kind of create like a kind of a ridges and kind of like bits out of this and stuff. But yeah, and then I'll kind of work into the other one as well. I'm kind of in the zone now. It's kind of frustrating. It's kind of in the zone now and stuff, but I'm going to have to leave it, guys. So that was my, um, that's the end of the stream uh, today, guys. That's going to be where we're going to leave it there today, and I will pick it up again because I have to get to work, guys. So that's where we kind of got to. Um, thank you for everyone that did drop by. I really appreciate it. My tea's gone cold because I've been drawing too much. Um, I will... We will continue this later. It was a very quick, very quick thing. Need to include Xeon lacing technology. Yeah. Floating. Hover. Who knows? I could just put some arrows and we can just, we can add whatever we want. Puff. Velcro all the way. Invented by NASA. Exactly. Velcro. Oh, seven deep star. Now, I appreciate that, guys. Um, I hope everyone's enjoyed it. I'm going to throw you guys over to Toby. Go hang out with Toby. Enjoy what Toby's doing. And um, we will continue this. Um, tomorrow morning we'll continue we'll probably work into the other one to the low and try and work in some details into that but like I said I usually like to kind of work into one and then we can kind of take some of the details and then we can a bit like the other guys start to maybe take some of the fun bits that we've added here we can kind of bring them onto here and maybe you know take some of what's on here and then vice versa and kind of create like a the idea is these would be explorer explorer shoes that's the idea I want these to be um, Explorer boots because I don't know if anyone's seen. Sorry, I'm just going to go. Um, I think they they showed it. Where was it? I think they showed it. I'm trying to find the, the Star City, the latest Star City is an Explorer suit. God, it was on ATV the other day, but I forgot. I should have clipped it. I'll go find it for next time and we'll bring it up. But they did these really big, chunky kind of boots and stuff. And I was a bit like, yeah, I think you could have a bit more fun. So anyway, guys, peace out, guys. Really appreciate you all for hanging out. Um, really, really did. Oh, Kill Block, what's up, man? You missed that. There you go. Before you, as you've just arrived, Kill Block, there you go. Because I'm just about to finish, mate, today. So this is where we started from. So this was the original... This is where we started today. Oh, I hope so everyone can kind of see what the, the building blocks were. So that's my original drawings for like some potential kind of sneaker, sneakery explorer things. And then this is kind of where we kind of ended up today using some of the kind of details from Interstellar's kind of boots. And we're kind of just working on this stuff through. So that's like literally an hour and a half 
to kind of get to this kind of place, which is, which is pr I'm pretty pleased with kind of like that as a, as a building block for now. That's pretty cool. So anyway, guys, uh, yeah, say hi to Toby for me and uh, have a great day. And I will maybe come back at lunchtime and do a little bit more for another hour. We'll see. So yeah, everybody have a really nice day and I will, um, I'll see you soon. Bye. Full of connections I could use, but don't cause if I didn't make the mark myself, then who would know? To win disposal if my nose is spin over real don't devote a single mind. Spin me or spin you. It's being occupied a constant mind, or should you take the time to silence really right and what's the sign? It's fine. A uh, little bit of madness. Thank you. One second. A uh, little bit of madness. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome to your viewers. Welcome to you, of course. Uh, maybe you can get a follow command for.